Yeah, area of banking that has been on the decline for this year. Well, they're living so at home, so <laughs> they're spending money the on rent. The millennial consumer. Yeah, they're just, it's very uh, I, I was Is Jonathan getting, gone? I, I don't know, but I, I think he has a point, by the way. Just, that it's a good thing? Right. Yes. They're in their basement on, you know, for on their phone. For a certain amount of time, Using the parents' Wi-Fi. <laughs> but, Joe, if you graduated bill. saddled with student debt, you might have a different perspective on things. No one's paying their student debt. I paid my student debt. Well, yours was worth it. <laughs> Jonathan, by the way, if you're anyway. still here, the thing that I liked about it, I was just say, I think the childcare costs, look, if you're a millennial, you're going into one of the most expensive, you're finally having kids, there's a lot to be said for, for your own mom and dad. Look, I'm not saying they have to do the work all over again, but I mean, that's, that's a big advantage, don't you think? Oh, yes, absolutely. Being able to share a variety of tasks around the house does help. And it's important to note that just because you're living at home doesn't mean that you're absolutely dependent. You can charge a little bit of rent. You can you can be adults, but you can also be able to yeah. have a you know good I approach to your finances. I lived near my grandfather for a year. That was the best year of my life. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. Thank you. So I had.